Hello there. Long time no see, eh? So, you're probably wondering what the flipping egg has been going on. Well, there's been a lot, really. Um, <laughs> oh, jeez, honestly, right. The last few weeks have been so incredibly, unbelievably hectic for us. Now, you might be thinking, well, that's all well and good, Al, but could you not have started editing a whole bunch of films in advance? We well, see, the thing is, I actually did start doing just that. But I kind of sort of stopped when I found out that one of our SD cards with some of the most important footage on it had corrupted. Yeah. So, that naturally put a bit of a dampener on things. Alright? Um, and yeah, it, it, it means that I've lost a couple of clips which I was going to use in today's upload. But it also means that I've lost the entirety of what would have been the next video in the series as well. And that was going to be called Driving Britain's Most Notorious Road with an engine warning light on. But uh, yeah, but like I say, no longer we've got any of that footage. And in actual fact, we've not even got that car anymore. Because, well, you see, what we thought wasn't too much of an issue that, you know, actually brought said engine warning light on, kind of sort of turned out to be that much of an issue. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, so that, that is just a fraction of what we've been dealing with and, and contending with throughout the month of September. Now, we can't change anything, all right? What I can do is apologise for lapsing content, but also thank you all for sticking with us. <laughs> and the actual fact, right, believe it or not, in the last week alone, we have somehow gained not one, not two, not four, but three, three brand new subscribers. So a huge, huge shout out to you wonderful people. Anyway, listen. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it is about time that we crack on with this, the first of quite a few videos in what is the largest leg of our great northern journey. Cue the intro! Hello everyone, good morning. So, today we are sadly checking out of Fraser House here in a somewhat drizzly Inverness. But, don't worry, this is not the end of our Scottish adventure. Oh no, far from it. You see, we're going to be heading west very shortly for the next leg of this great northern journey. Right, hello. Um, <laughs> welcome to the middle of bloody nowhere. Jeez. Well, this is our next place. <laughs> Look at that view. Oh my. Right, let's go and take a little look at the place, shall we? Number 11 in a place called Diabag. So, nice big cottage. A really good, really good position up here. Satellite dish. Um, right, let's uh, check out this little gardeny type bit. Oh, I love these things. <laughs> Got clothes pegs on and everything. Jeez. God, look at that view. Absolutely incredible. The cottage just there. Let's uh, climb up here though, as you do. It's 
This place is bloody incredible. All right, come on, let's let's get inside, shall we? <laughs> God, so much fun. Right. Now in through this porch type bit. Got Wi-Fi. Nice one. Right, heading on in then. Got a living room with a log burner and actually got a decent amount of wood there to be fair. Nice. Nice, yeah, because the, uh, the other cottage which we've stayed in in Scotland before, that literally only, only had like a few logs, not that we really needed them. I doubt we'll be needing those either. Because while it is a wee bit chilly and this summer, to be fair, ain't going brilliantly weather wise, I still don't think we'll be needing them. Um, I've got jumpers and whatnot. Anyway, listen, let's, uh, let's move on. To, ooh, where does this go? Nowhere. Thanks for that. Um, <laughs> right. So this then. Ooh. Nice big kitchen. Got a door out to the side bit. Can't really get down there to be fair. I've already checked them out. <gasps> Chickens. Chickens on the blind. Oh, brilliant. Double sink. Nice. My mother creeping in with a whole load of shopping. Just as well that we stopped up, really. I ain't going anywhere many times soon. No. <laughs> right, this then... It's like the world's smallest u um, utility room. The stairs then leading through to the front door, which you might have just seen my mum go out of. Right, all oh, this is a big old bathroom. Look at this. Cool, that's well nice. It's right, mate, that's the, that's the same shower that we had in the uh, in Fraser house. Nice. Anyway, listen, let's uh, pop up here and then before we head upstairs, I'm just going to quickly head down again. Because in here, in here we have a bedroom. Ooh, how fancy. The first of three. Yes, there are three bedrooms in this place. We've got a bedroom each. Ooh, I've just spotted some sheeps. Very nice. Right, anyway, let's, let's, uh, let's carry on round. So back up here. And let's take a turn round and check out what's going on upstairs. Oh, so we've got a bedroom at either end of the landing. More sheeps. <laughs> Current theme already. Um, right, so we've got some twin room sort of dealio there. And then this would most likely be your master. If you're to, yeah, sort of sell this place, you class that as your master, I guess. Bit of a bit of a low ceiling, <laughs> but you know, it's not a massive place, and we are out in the middle of bloody nowhere. So, God, strap me! Look at that. If I stand up properly, I mean, okay, I've got my shoes on. If I stand up properly, my head's on the <laughs> on the top of the frame there. God, this one's even lower, right? So if we. Open. Oh, that doesn't open. God, why are the doors that are just locked? I don't. I don't quite get. Oh, I was expecting that to be another bathroom. To be fair, not an upstairs one. No, I only got the one bathroom. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Look at that. Oh no, it's Valux. Oh, I hate their. Hate their. Dad first, right? We will look inside our souls, there's light It's a good enough day to love Through the blankets, rags and tar I hate them so, so much Genuinely Every time it came on, I just... <clears throat> anyway, listen Come back through here I'm still doing stuff with shopping, of course Oh, I'll be around, yeah. <laughs> right, let's, uh, let's head out this way, shall we? <gasps> Highland Q! Look at that, Highland Q on the um, key ring. Very nice. Close that up. I'll just take you around here just because why not? Yes, yeah, so there's not really any access back there. But, uh, yeah. This place will do, wouldn't it? 
unten hält sie dann. Sheeps. <laughs> oh my god, they're on the road. <laughs> oh man, look at that. Right guys, so just noticed something else here. As well as the chickens on the blinds in the kitchen. We've got sheep on the tablecloth. Look at this little goodie bun bundle as well, as if this weren't good enough. Look at this. Tea. Eggs! We've got eggs! Egg! That egg! You'll be having omelettes then. Shortbread. That's me and Doug sorted. Tea. You sorted. Uh, Scottish preservative. That's just like jam, really. Right. And uh, whatever the bloody hell that is. That's supposed to be a roll. It's something a bit like a bit of bread. I don't know. <laughs> right. Right. I've just noticed something else, guys. <laughs> Look at that. It's a chicken egg timer. Oh god. oh god, and right hand as well, I've just seen out the corner of my eye. Got our wee stereo. Look at that. God, this place just keeps on giving. And there's a dunk. Again. Oh, straight, straight for a, straight for a brew, yeah. Right, so we've, uh, we've spent about an hour, maybe two hours, I don't know really, here in, excuse me. Here in Dye Bay, sorry, very sorry, but there's a rather rude sheep. <laughs> really? Come on, goose. Goose, sheep, surrounded by wildlife. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this. Hello. Yeah, heard it here, folks. <laughs> um, anyway, right, sorry, I forgot the main bit, the main reason why I came out here. Um, basically, we're just about to head off to Tut Pub. Right, well, here we are. And what a view this place has. Look at that. Got a little harbour just at the end there. A wreck, which isn't quite so nice, but uh, yeah, God, the sun's just come out now. It's baking hot all of a sudden. Jeez, <laughs> oh, it's glorious! It really, really is. <sighs> We're here at the Gilabridge, which is a calf come restaurant right at the bottom of Dye Beag, right by the bay, as you can see. And I'm just having a cup of coffee because they can't fit us in uh, for a meal but it's just supposed to be really good to eat down here really good anyway having a nice coffee a nice latte and i have to say it's a very good coffee <laughs> yeah right coffee finished and uh yeah we've been eating alive <laughs> god i mean like i was aware that midges are a thing obviously but I thought people were just like exaggerating it, but no, there are a heck of a lot. It's all right when you're walking along now. I mean, there's. I feel all right now, but yeah, we, we sat down back there. It was just like they're all swarming over us, and oh god, yeah, that wasn't, wasn't brilliant. But hey, we have got some bug repellent in the car, which I wouldn't much use back there, but. Anyway, this is the uh, sort of. Well, it's more of a bay than a harbour as such. But yeah, I've got sort of harbour wall coming along here. And then out that way is the sea. Right, we just uh, started up this platform actually. Because, uh, well, we've brought some fishing gear with us, shall we say. And uh, yeah, this seems like quite a nice, quite a nice little spot to cast off and see what we're doing. But also, right, also, just have a little look down there. Water is incredibly clear. Unbelievably clear, in fact. It's beautiful. It really, really is. I'm curious as to whether or not this would get covered up 
at high tide though. I don't think so. Maybe on a really high tide, but... Yeah, Well, actually, you can see some weedy type stuff there. Yeah, it could be anything. That could have come another storm, you don't know. Well, yeah. There's no, like, barnacles or anything, is there? No. And there's none of that kind of... You kind of got the blacky and the barnacles on there, you see. Mm. But there's none up here. No, so. this seems quite clear, quite yeah. clean, so... No, I think this will be quite a nice little platform to crack out the fishing gear. But of course we have also got up here as well. And again, this is quite nice, but yeah, it's a bit higher up. Yeah. Oh, God, look at that. Look how, how clear. clear it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That is absolutely incredible. Cool. This landscape is absolutely breathtaking, guys. It really, really is. Right, well, dunk's off. Um, go all right. Yeah, we're just, uh, just looking at here and again. This, this actually looks like a cracking spot. It really, really does, because you've got a mini sort of... Well, it's not much of a bay, really, is it? It's more of a pool, but... Yeah, this could be a nice little hot spot, or so we think. But I mean, we're here for an entire week, so we've got plenty of time to explore and, you know, find out where, which bits are good, which bits aren't quite so good. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to a bit further over there, because I've got... Oops. For God's sake, be careful, man. Yeah. Jeez. No, that's all right. I'm sticking on this big piece, I think. And that's the best thing to do. God, look at him, he's like a little kid. He's off. He's off on one. <laughs> oh, actually, that made quite a good picture of him there with the view looking out to sea there. Cool, you can see where it's dumping rain, that is. It's almost kind of a bit of a turquoisey type shade of water. Really? Satisfied, sir? Yes, I think so. Well, it's funny. This is liking. Well, this stuff? Yeah. That's a liking. They only like clean air. Well, I don't think you get much cleaner than this. No periwinkles on. Periwinkles. Right. Cool. There's dog whelks. That wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if there are crabs. And here as well. We you go got digging. crabs? <laughs> you shouldn't have said that so loud. No. Yeah. Right, well, anyway, listen, I think that's about enough exploring for today. But, uh, yeah, we will most definitely be coming down there oh, and check, checking out the joint. There's a lot cooler. There's a bit in here. I've never done that, actually. Huh? Yeah. Devon's a good place to find all sorts of them. And we've got different sites of different sorts of um, seaweed there. Bladder rack, serrated rack. It's a font of information sometimes, isn't it? Jeez. Yeah, most of it useful. Useless. I was about to say, God, I just realised there's sort of steps, natural steps yeah. here. And we just clambered up all of that. Yeah, possible. God, we're a couple of muppets, aren't we? Mum's already jumped back in the car. Not really her thing, bless her. But, uh, yeah, it's a nice little place, is this? Yeah. Cool. Where it's all been. Yeah. Very nice. God, I just can't get over that view. I mean, you look out there and the water's beautiful, but even when you sweep round to here and then you look at the cliffs and all the rest of it, yeah. It's like two bloody beautiful landscapes all in one it is it is a cracking place here oh yeah if I just shut up perhaps you're picking up a bit of noise of trees rustling but well you're gonna get that on yeah but other than that I mean even the sheep have uh, even the sheep are behaving themselves mind you they're all back out the way because we're somewhere over there-ish Anyway, 
ever getting in, so I better do the same and follow suit. Made it just in time, didn't we? Oh yeah. Just, you saw, uh, we saw that lot coming over. Well, yeah, I mean, as, as I said, it was dumping out that way, but now I don't know whether we can get the camera to focus on it. There we go. But it's just started uh, raining now. Mm. Right, so now that, we're, uh, now that we're in for the night, might as well get ourselves unpacked. So, Dunk, well, the moment that we got in, Dunk claimed this room as his own. So, uh, yeah, so he's got the biggest of the beds, the cheeky so and so. Oh, and there he is. Hello. Hello. Um, anyway, right, I'm going to run up the stairs, nearly falling over in the process. Um, right, so then this one here, this was the other double. And well, as you can see, my mum's claimed that one. So that leaves me with the twin room. However, I have a solution. And I'm not going to be able to do it with my foot. Um, Basically, basically, what I'm planning on doing is pushing these two together so that I've essentially got a makeshift double. Now, it's not brilliant, but, you know, it'll, it'll do, one it, you know. I mean, them two are the adults, they make it the big beds. And I'll, I'll make do with this. It's only for a week. God, look at that. Jeez, it's pouring it down now. Most definitely timed that right. Although having said that, still absolutely stunning, isn't it? Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Right, anyway. Ow! Just bang me back on this. Anyway, oh, let's get unpacking. And, uh, and yes, yes, I, I did bring my coffin for case. Voila! Beautiful. So, yep, completely unpack. Besides from this cheeky little fella, which is actually a drone. Now, I have actually done a video with this bad boy in the past, but that was oh, um, a year, maybe two years ago now, gosh. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, listen, if you want to go see that, pop out banner. But, uh, yeah, but I'm hoping, right, I'm hoping to get this out at about, at least at some point while we're up here. I would, I really, really would like to. But the thing is, it's it's not a particularly substantial drone as such, and so in order to fly it, I need well, I need dry conditions ideally, and I also would like there to not be too much wind. So <laughs> the chances of that are fairly remote. But you know, hey ho, if we do get a decent day, I will try and get this up. I mean, it's a beautiful place for it. <laughs> you know, where else better? to fly a drone than here. I, I really don't think there is anywhere else better, in fact. But to yeah, anyway, listen. Let's uh, get it put away in this drawer, shall we? Very nice, very nice indeed. Got all my, all my other camera stuff's in there, so the bag for this. And then my bag for my Canon power shot. And, and obviously that camera is in there. Beautiful. Right, uh, no clue why I've got this though, like decorative purposes but personally I don't think it's particularly decorative at all um anyway listen I also went to the liberty of putting my beds together and well as you can see I ended up actually pushing them right up tight against this wall because over here we have a window which obviously I would like to open sometimes <laughs> I also of course Need to close the curtains during the night, or for the night, should I say? But even more importantly, right? I want to be able to stand here and admire that truly stunning view. Look at that! It's even dried up for us now. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, and over here, right? Over here, I've even got my phone on charge. Oh, very nice. But uh, well. Just up the top there, you can see, 
emergency calls only. Yeah, yeah, the internet round here is, well, it's non-existent really. I mean, we've got Wi-Fi, I'm connected to it, but the router is in the porch and, well, being upstairs, the signal doesn't reach that far equally, even when in the bathroom, which is right at the other end of the house, but on the same floor, again, Wi-Fi won't actually reach that far. And even when you are connected to Wi-Fi, there's next to no internet. You know, the signal's still really bad, and you still can't really get onto anything like social media or anything. But, I mean, you know, if you're looking for a bit of a detox from all of that malarkey, I guess this is the perfect place. And besides, even if you really do need a signal, yeah, well, guess what? You can travel about 100, 100 yards or so up the road, just, just so that you're out of this sort of valley-type bit. And there's enough of a signal to make a phone call or or do a quick dog lay. Right guys, I've literally just rushed outside, right? Because the sun's going down over there. Got some stunning pictures of that and I'm gonna take a few more as well. Hence why hence why I brought my other camera. But uh, well if I just hand you guys round you might just about be able to make out the rainbow. <laughs> Strap me. This has got to be the most beautiful place I have ever been. I really can't get over this place, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I mean, that is a view you could never tire of. Got the sun, sun setting. Just there. God, look at the sky, so dramatic. The rocks over there with the sun shining on them, so dramatic. Sheep down there making a racket, so dramatic. <laughs> oh man, the colours. The colours, the landscape. It is all just so... Breathtakingly beautiful. I'm, I'm lost for words. <laughs> I really, really am. I am. I'm gonna head inside now, though, because uh, just a wee bit chilly. I mean, it's what it's. Oh, it's bloody. It's nearly nine o'clock. So the fact that the fact that I'm actually out here in a short sleeve t-shirt at all is actually really remarkable. Because uh, the sea ain't too far away. Plus, I'm sure you've got to remember that I'm further north of where I normally live. Plus, the fact you've got to remember that the weather this summer hasn't actually been particularly brilliant so uh yeah God, I, did, I just don't want to stop looking at it i really don't honestly like every five minutes i keep looking through the window out there as you can see dunk's doing the same <sighs> absolutely gorgeous Right guys, there you have it, sun's gone down, and well, I think that means it's about time to end off this video. Thank you all so, so much for joining us, and we look forward to catching you, same time, same place, next Sunday. Bye for now. <laughs>